Hey guys, what's up? This is your man, Larry from Gusta Rise. And you guys know I'm really big on training your hands and your forearms. Because most people think they get enough work from, from doing deadlifts, you know, working out the chest, uh, doing uh, curls, anything that involves over body, over body of, of grabbing bars and holding stuff or doing some wrist curls or reverse wrist curls behind the back. They think it's enough to to develop the strength and muscularity of the forearms and the hand and in your hand strength, but you know, it's not that easy, it's not that simple simple to uh to uh get your hands that strong from doing that. Don't get me wrong, it it makes your hands stronger, it does in your forearms, but it's not it's not sufficient enough as opposed to if you were to directly train your hands and your forearms with actual intensity and actual exercises that actually build the strength, the mass that you need to have a strong, powerful grip and strong forearms. But if you're one of those guys who, who are naturally who's, who's naturally strong, then you might be able to be able to get away with that or not do as much direct work compared to somebody who doesn't have who's who's not as not so strong as someone who has natural strength. But uh, for most people, in order to have a, a well developed grip <clears throat> and uh, grip, you know, you're going to need to train your hands and your forearms efficiently and effectively with certain exercises. And anyway guys, today I want to talk about something that most people don't train when it comes to uh, hand training and that is the, um, the extensions of the hand. Pretty much when your hands open, you know, it's, the, it's, it's antagonistic to uh, holding the bars or, or squeezing grippers or, uh, or, or just holding something with your hands, you know, it's different. Because if you don't train the antagonist part of your hands of opening your hands, it can it can really affect you know your maximal grip strength. Because if your holding grip pinch your holding grip your pinching grip and your um, supporting grip is is so strong is, is stronger than your to your than your antagonist opening your hand grip your opening of your hands, then it's gonna limit how strong you can get in the long run. So pretty much you're, you're limiting yourself. And how strong your grip can be, as opposed to if you were training your hands, your extensors, then, then you know if you train your extensors if, uh, equally as with you, as your other types of grip training, opening, opening, I mean supporting, holding, gripping. Then your grip is gonna keep on developing, getting stronger over time instead of uh, stagnating. So it's very important that you also train that this part of your grip of opening it. And there's many ways that you can do it. And one way that I do it is, well, I used to do it with rubber bands. I put rubber bands around my fingers, one, two, or three, and I was open my hands. You know, that's one way you can train your hands. And another way you can do it is by using this product I bought about two weeks ago, three weeks ago. It's called the X-Band. And the great thing about this is, like, opposed to rubber bands, they easily can break on your break on your hands over time, and they, and they end up stretching out over, over time. So they, eventually, they lose their elasticity to where they can't uh, they don't provide as much resistance for your fingers for opening them. So they eventually they end up also they end up breaking. But the great thing about this product is that it's really you know resistant. It's, it's, it's less likely to uh, to lose this uh, resistance and to break on you. And it's great for training your extensors <clears throat> of your hands. So pretty much, you know, as I told you, you can use, you, you can use rubber bands to train your train your extensors of your hand. And also, you can use this, which I buy for like twelve or fifteen dollars on Amazon. It's a lot cheaper than buying from the X Band website. So pretty much, you just put it over your, your thumb, as I'm going to show you. And pretty much it's like this, guys, like that. So your fingers like this. See how my fingers are closed because they're resistance. And pretty much what you do is you just open it, just like that. Now you can open it like that. You can hold it for five seconds. Then close it. Then do it again. That's the same thing with rubber bands. You can do the same thing. And usually, if you don't have a strong grip or or just develop hand strength overall. And you start training your scissors, I recommend you start out, you know, light, you know, not doing a lot of reps, 
and not doing a lot of resistance because you don't want to uh, injure yourself. That's the last thing you want to do is injure yourself while you're working out because it puts you because then you're down. You can't work out. But anyway, you know. So if you like a beginner, I recommend doing uh, 50, 50 reps, you know, or twenty five to fifty reps. And the great thing about these bands is that they come off of different resistance. You know, you have your light, you have your medium, and your heavy. And this is a medium because I wanted to try it out to see where my grip was at. And this is, for me, it's, it's too easy. And, you know, you just, but like if you're like intermediate to advanced, then I recommend you doing like a two sets of 100, maybe two sets of 100, uh, five sets of, of, uh, of 100, you know. That's what I recommend for somebody who's advanced or intermediate. Or you, you can do more if you want, but you know, for me, I do a lot of grip training to where um, I don't think I should I should be doing that much. But I'll probably push the limbs to see how much I can do. But again, guys, if you want to uh, maximize your grip strength and your form development, you know, train the extensions of your fingers, of your hands, because if you train this, and then it, it's, it's going to maximize the potential of, of your grip becoming stronger and stronger over time. And also, this is great for creating uh, hand elements like uh, arthritis, tendonitis in your hands, in your hands, your fingers, and your, fo your forearms. So, this is also great for, for taking care of that too. So, guys, um, that's pretty much it. You know, make sure you train your stitches of your hand. As always, you can train besides using rubber bands and buying this product. You know, the skill on the skill on the internet, you can find plenty of resources and exercises that specialize into developing the extensions of your of your of your hands. So guys, um, thank you for watching my video. I'm your man Lorenzo from Gusta Rise. Make sure you like my video if you, if, you, if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and my other social medias. And until next time, guys, peace. <clears throat> hey guys, it's your man Lorenzo again. I uh, I forgot to mention one thing, and and the, the show more part below my video, guys. You can. Uh, Find additional resources to where you can find to where to buy this product. You can buy it from the from the official website, or you can buy it from Amazon, which is a lot cheaper. Which I recommend that route if you want to save money. And also, I'll put some additional links down below in the show more button to where you can find additional exercises to where you can train your extensors and pretty much your hand strength, your hand, well, your hand grip overall. And probably additional links to where you can find uh, resources and gear. Also, uh, for uh, developing your hand strength and your group. But that's pretty much it, guys, and thank you for watching. Peace.